One, two, three. Alright, so here's a breakdown of the grooves for Leave the Door Open. Intro is five sixteenth notes, so you're starting on the uh of three, a uh four E and a, uh, and then we're ending with that crash bass on one. So it'll be a uh four, a uh four two snares, E's on your high tom, hands on your floor tom, a uh, your kick drum and then the one is the kick and the crash together. Alright. After that one you have a nice rest until the end of four. So one, two, three, four, a quiet and and then a louder one. So let's do that together. Together. A four E and a one. Rest, rest, four and one. So one and two and three. Cool. After that one crash, you get a rest, two and three. Then your triplet run starts on the and of three. So dig it up, dig it up on the high tom, which was, is covering three and four. And then the last dig it up, the and of four, and is on that floor tom. And four on the floor tom. So up here, three and four. Dig it up, dig it up, dig it up. And then you're going to end with that crash bass. So, that measure, one and two and three. And you notice I got those dynamics. After that crash on one, you get to rest the whole rest of the measure. So crash, rest, rest, rest. Another crash on one, and then rest two, rest for three. And then you have the and is just a normal snare hit. Four is a flam, and then E and are the two toms. So make sure you get that rhythm so it's one and two and three and four E and. So the and to four is two eighth notes, and then the four E and sixteenth notes. So those will be faster. So one and two and three and four E and. Then you're going to hit your crash on one with the bass drum to go in the groove. So one and two. And then this is that measure where you have that fill. So the beginning, one, <laughs> one and two and, and the fill will be three E and on the hi-hat, a four on the snare, and then the open E, one, close it on one. So let's look at that measure in timing because I was kind of explaining stuff. So we have one and two and three E and a four. So go through that one a couple times, make sure that one, you notice the rhythm where you're playing eighth notes until you get to the fill and it switches to sixteenth notes. One and two and three E and a four. Alright, and then we're going back to that groove. So three E and a four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So that's as far as we're going right now with this. Make sure you nail it. 
once you get those rhythms patterns down work with the metronome work with the song add those dynamics and that finesse and just pay close attention to the triplets which are in six tuplet format so each eighth note has three counted digita so it's the digita 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 dut digita 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 dut and then another thing to pay attention to rhythm wise is that little fill of the three and four and. All right. <laughs>